I'm here in my holiday apron with my favorite knife and our well-beloved cutting stone to share with you how you can have your board be more sharp when it comes to fundraising. Unprofit leaders often tell me that their boards aren't engaged in fundraising like they would like. Now a board's responsibility is another video, I'll send you back to that one, is to set strategy. But when board members don't engage in fundraising, they don't understand it. And this causes two challenges. One is they can't set strategy on something they don't really understand. And secondly, you lose income. So how can you sharpen your board skills when it comes to fundraising? Your tools when it comes to sharpening your board skills at fundraising are these. The first and most important one, and the one that is often overlooked, is experiences. How can you give your board members experiences to show them the joy of philanthropy? There's a number of things you can do. In fact, I would recommend you create a curriculum that any board member coming into your organization learns and experiences fundraising on various ways and different places throughout their term. So that as time goes on, they more and more get that asking someone to participate, to be a philanthropist, is an honor and a privilege for both you and them and the nonprofit. So experiences, one example would be the idea of having your board thank donors. Now, this is easier for you to do yourself. You just get on the phone, you make a quick call, you thank the donor. It's a lot more work to have your board experience it. When they experience it, they will almost inevitably receive joy from it. The donor will be surprised to hear from them and thank them for their service in many cases. So there's a little bit of joy passing around here, a little bit of the love that philanthropists can share back with those who made their philanthropy possible. So experiences is your most powerful tools because they evoke emotions, and emotion, emotions encourage us to act. Now what we often use is the second tool, and this is a very, very good tool too, but it's not as powerful as the first, even though we use it more often, and that is to provide facts and information that encourage and inform people your board members about fundraising. What happens is we just sort of say, hey, we have this gala and we made this much money, wasn't it great? Instead of giving them information about how the gala was a part of a plan to engage new donors, to create relationships, to help them and other people to know each other better and trust the organization. So the many of the pieces and reasons you're doing activities like thanking donors have many multiple reasons, not just the money. And we forget when we pass on information that we are also educating board members about fundraising. So, do you want sharp board members who are skilled at helping you to raise funds and understand how funds are raised and how to engage people and why to engage people? Use these tools, experience and information. And when you use them, you will find that, that your board gets sharp and you create a feast of money.